A year ago, Mahmoud Bitar arrived on a beach in Greece as a refugee. This year, he's on a beach in the south of France as a social media sensation. It's been quite a journey. Mahmoud is a refugee from Aleppo in Syria. He built up a massive internet following by charting his journey from Turkey to Greece and ultimately to Sweden. He uses comedy to tackle stereotypes about refugees. My message is like, like we, we came to live in peace. We, do, we don't come for money or for food or something like that. We came to like, like save place for we have war. But we, we don't care for, like, for money or for food. Or we can work and we can pay tax, like everyone living, living here. His videos also send a message to other refugees that the reality of life in Sweden and other European countries will be different from their expectations. As he has such a big audience and so many young followers, he can like... Um, help them to think that I can do this, I can document my, my journey or my life today and it's interesting and it's important. There have been hundreds and hundreds of hours of television news footage about the refugee crisis, but what we're seeing in Cannes is new ways of telling refugee stories, exploiting the full range of media platforms. The UN Refugee Agency is using film as a way for refugees to speak directly about their experiences. This is the story of Ragad, a young woman who fled Syria with her parents after her husband was killed in a missile attack. The family had a terrifying experience with people smugglers and are now living in Cairo. There are various ways of addressing the refugee situation. One is to make films about the refugees, but we also find it more and more important to have the refugees tell their own stories. The ongoing refugee crisis is compelling subject matter for filmmakers. It is inspiring writers and directors to find new storytelling techniques so that audiences can relate to refugees as individuals, just like themselves. Jackie Rowland, Al Jazeera, at the Cannes Film Festival.